Hey everybody, welcome back for another video. My name is Tanya, for those of you that are new here, and I'm a watercolor artist. So today I wanted to do a really easy painting for you. So I decided to do a dandelion, a rainbow dandelion. So I hope you enjoy the video. Okay, so to get started, I've got my Arches watercolor paper. I've got a couple different size paintbrushes. I believe this is an eight, a five, and a two. I've got my pencil, my Winsor Newton watercolors, and I also have my Arteza watercolor brush pens. I just picked out a few colors here that I wanna use. Um, it doesn't matter what brand you have. I've used the Tombow brand, which I love just as much, but today I'm just gonna be using the Arteza. And I have my uh, Dr. P.H. Martin's Bleed Proof White and an Archival Ink Pen, a size three and my two cups of water, one for cool and one for warm. All right, so to get started um, with our dandelion, I don't want it to be right in the center of my page because I want to, I wanted to have it look like it's blowing more towards the corner, like when you blow um, the dandelion, when those little things come off it to make a wish. So I want those to be flowing more in this direction. So I'm gonna be bringing the, more of the center of my dandelion right there. And then with my pencil, I'm just gonna lightly sketch out where I want some of those little I don't know what you call them, but it's those little things that you blow off um, of the dandelion. So we'll just call them little stems, even though they're not really stems. Well, they might be stems, I don't know. But I'm gonna be drawing them like this, and I'm just gonna be turning my paper around in a circle so that I get a nice, clean, straight line. And you don't have to do all of them. This is just to kind of show you like how big you want your circle to be and um, and also to make it look like they're exactly going around it. So you don't want any curved or anything like that. So this is just kind of guiding you where you want um, all those little spokes to be. All right, so I'm then gonna make my little stem here and I'm gonna curve my stem a little bit. And that's about all I'm gonna do with my pencil. The rest is gonna be my watercolor brush pens. So I'm gonna take my, um, it's called Rouge Pink. I'm gonna be taking this one first, if you're following along with me. And I'm just gonna be making a couple lines here and there. You don't even have to go right over your pencil if you don't want to, you can go right by it. And again, I'm turning my page because I wanna get a nice straight line. And we're gonna be filling this in with a whole bunch of different colors. So there was the pink. I'm gonna do orange. And this one's not showing up too much, so I'm gonna skip this one. Let's go on to our yellow. This one's called Bumblebee Yellow. This one's showing up really nice. And I'm just gonna be putting a couple of yellow here and there. Again, turning my page to get that nice straight line. All right, and I'm gonna be bringing in some of my light magenta. So all you're gonna do is just go, keep going around and around with this uh, little dandelion and use any color you want. Even if you wanted it to be all like one solid color or just two colors, I'm just gonna make mine more like a rainbow. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna go around with teal. Put a little bit here and there. So you're just kind of closing up some of that white space. And you can leave some of the white space because we're actually gonna be going in a little bit later with our um, bleed proof white. So you can right now leave some of that white space if you want to. All right. And I think I'm gonna bring in one more color. Let's bring in this kind of, what's called royal blue. This one's a little bit more of a dark color, so I'm not gonna use it everywhere. Maybe just a little bit here and a little bit there. All right, so right now you've got this funky looking dandelion with all these colors. I'm gonna go in with my size, I think I said this was a size five, and I'm just gonna go over and just dab it here and there just to start letting that watercolor bleed together. And it's okay to let my colors bleed together, otherwise I'd be going in a straight line out, which you could also do. You could go in a straight line straight out and just mimic the lines you had made with the watercolor marker. But I am gonna go in and I'm just gonna dab them, just like that. So I still see some of my colors, but I still see some of the white coming through. 
and they're bleeding together just like that. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and dry this and then we're gonna go on to the next step. Okay, so my paper is dry and this is how it dried and I'm really liking the way um, I'm, I've left some of the white space of the paper showing through all that negative space. And some of my paint is starting to mix together and just make their own little colors as they mix together. So I'm loving that look. And I left the center uh, negative, so it does not have any paint on it right now at all. All right, so I'm gonna be going in and I'm gonna be taking my archival uh, ink pen. Again, I'm using a size three. You can use any size you want. And I'm gonna be making those little, like, it's the seeds actually. Um, on the um, the edge here of the dandelion, it's the little parts that you blow off and it's actually got the seeds on it. So I'm gonna be going in and I'm gonna be making all these little seeds on the edge like that. And I'm gonna be bringing down the little stem, just like that. So it's just kind of like a little half circle and it's got a couple little lines in it. And then you're just gonna bring it down. And you're gonna wanna fill in until the all these little seeds here touch. All right. So right now we've got that nice circle with all those little seeds around it. And we're gonna be bringing in a little bit more, I wanna bring in a little bit more of the pink. So I am gonna go over some of these little seed things that I just did with my pink um, watercolor brush pen. And you don't have to do all of them, you could do some of them. I just wanna bring that pink around a little bit, just so it's like the outside of the dandelion. And I'm just kind of just, filling in a little bit, just like little lines, just filling in where we just did those little seed marks. Okay, so see how we went in with just the pink around it. Now what I'm gonna do is I am going to take my um, number two, no, actually this is the number five again, paintbrush, and I'm just gonna go around and I'm just gonna wet it just to blend it out a little bit. And now your little dandelion doesn't have to look exactly like mine. You can do any color you want. You can make it multicolor like I did. You can make it one or two colors. It doesn't matter. These are just fun, whimsical little paintings. All right, so now I'm gonna bring in some of my Winsor Newton. <clears throat> and actually, I think this is my Daniel Smith. I do have a couple Daniel Smith on my, um, on my palette here, and I believe this is the Opera Rose. So I'm gonna be bringing in a little bit of that and just dabbing it around also, just letting that bleed together because my paper was already wet where we just laid down that water. So I'm gonna be bringing in a little bit more pink. And I also wanna dab, get a little more water on there and I just wanna start dabbing it up like this. Now you can lay the water down first or you could just start bringing in your paint. And it's gonna be almost like you're blowing you know, the dandelion and it's going up in the corner over here. So I just want some pink coming up this way. And again, you could do any color you want. I'm gonna go around the dandelion a little bit. Like that. And then I'm gonna blend this out a little bit more over here. So when we make some of those seeds that are blowing you know, in the sky, it'll have like a little bit of a background of the pink over here. All right, I also wanna bring in a little bit of my cad yellow and just kinda of let that bleed in also just to break up some of that pink. And you can even put a little bit you know, around your um, dandelion as well. You could bring it on the inside, you could do it on the outside, it doesn't matter, just have fun with this. And of course it turns a little bit orange cause it's pink and yellow and it kind of gives it this little bit of an orange, orange hue. All right, I'm gonna make my stem now and I think with my stem I'm gonna pull in that royal blue you know what, um, my dandelion's still wet here and I don't want the royal blue to bleed out, so I am gonna dry this really quick before I make my stem. Okay, so it's nice and dry and I'm just gonna take my royal blue and I'm gonna follow that little mark that I made with my for my stem. And you can go over it a couple times depending on how thick you want your stem to be. Just like that. And then I'm gonna take my number two um, paintbrush and I'm just gonna go over that just to give it a little bit more dimension. Like that. Okay. All right, so now what we're gonna do, since this is nice and dry up here, we're gonna take our um, archival pen, the same one, 
and we're gonna kind of look like it's make it look like it's blowing out some of those seeds are just flying so you're gonna start with a little stem and then that little half circle again and then just some of those little lines in it like I was doing before so like a little half circle with some lines and a little stem you can make some curved you can make some straight you can make some long you can make some look like they're upside down blowing in the wind just have fun with it and just make them look like they're just all blown all around and then have a few coming straight out also so you make it look like it is coming right off that dandelion like that and then as you get up here more towards the corner if you want to start making them look a little bit smaller you can because it's kind of farther into the sky And I think I need one more right here. Like that. Super cute. If you want to do a few on this side too, you could, but I'm just going to have mine on that side. All right, so I'm going to take the same pink that I had done um, around the dandelion, and I'm going to go around some of these. Again, just kind of mimicking my lines here that I just made. So nothing fancy. You just kind of want to highlight them a little bit. And you can go back over that with some water. I've got my size five here. I'm just kind of dabbing it around just to kind of activate that uh, watercolor marker a little bit. And it may bleed on you a little bit, it may not. It just depends on what color you're using. Mine is not bleeding too much, so that's totally fine. All right. Now I am going to take my, arch my archival ink again, and I'm just going to make a line down one side of my stem to kind of give it almost like a shadowed side. If you want to outline both sides, you can. I'm outlining just one side. Oh, and then another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of my, um, my Payne's Gray, and I'm going to make a little wash of it right here. We're gonna do the center of our dandelion now. So I'm taking my size five and I'm just going around more of the center right here of the color. I'm not covering up my white space yet, but I am dabbing a little bit more towards the center of the dandelion. And if you wanna bring it in a little bit and close up some of that white space, you can, but leave some of that white space still showing through. So I'm gonna go ahead and dry this and I think I'm gonna start adding my, um, my bleed proof white. Okay, so I'm gonna take a little bit more of my cad yellow. I'm gonna bring in a little bit more yellow here and there on both sides, even a little bit down this way too. And I'm just dabbing it on here and there just to give a little more yellow. And if you wanna add other colors in there, um, I'll add a little bit of my violet. You can add a little bit more um, colors in there as well. And if it gets too spotty like this, just take a clean brush and just go over it. And it will um, mute it down a little bit on your page. And I wanna add a little bit of that same technique down towards the bottom of my dandelion as well. So I'm gonna do more of like a teal down here. I'm just stabbing that on. I'm going over it with just water. And it's okay if your stem activates and it bleeds into the background, that's kind of pretty. So if that starts happening because you just went over your stem, that's fine. And just add as much as you want. I don't want to add too much because I do want a, um, a little bit of negative space between uh, the bottom section and then this section here. So I'm not going to have them bleed together. I am going to dry this one more time and then I think we're gonna add our bleed proof white. All right, so with your bleed proof white, you wanna use a paintbrush that's not you know, your favorite and most expensive watercolor paintbrush. I'm using today just generic, um, no name brand uh, paintbrushes, so I don't really mind. I'm gonna be dipping in uh, just the tip of the paintbrush, and this is my size two, and I'm gonna be going around my dandelion again with just these little, little, lines. I'm just using the tip of the paintbrush and you just want to bring in a little white here and there and here again you just want to kind of turn your dandelion around so you get nice straight lines like 
like that. And then I'm gonna make a few in the center here, just little dots like that. And I'm also gonna bring in a couple little dots kind of like on those seed areas that we had just done, just around those little seed areas. You can go on the seeds or you can just go um, right above them if you want to. And I'm just making little polka dots. And I'm also gonna put a few like on the tops of these little flying seeds up here too. Really pretty. And if you think you need to add a little bit more, go for it. I'm gonna put a little more water on my brush. It just depends on how light you want it. If you want more color showing, if you want more white showing. I just feel like it needs a little bit more white. It's really pretty. I'm gonna give a little highlight down my, um, cause I know we did the archival pen on one side, but I'm gonna do a little highlight on one side of my stem here. Just like that. All right, let's go ahead and dry this and then we'll see what else we need. Oh, and don't forget to close up your uh, bleed proof white because it does dry out really fast. All right, so one thing I decided is I need a little bit more of my Payne's Gray in the center here. So not really right in the center, but like around the center. So I'm just gonna come in and just dab a little bit of my Payne's Gray just around like that, just to make that center part pop out a little bit more. And if you wanna bring out just a few little lines here and there, you can, you don't really need to. And I think I also wanna bring out a little bit more, I'm gonna take a little bit of orange and just bring a little bit of orange around, maybe just this one side up here. And I don't really want all these polka dots, so I'm just gonna go over it with some water and blend it out a little bit, just like that. And I think I might bring a little bit more up this way. Maybe just a little bit down this way too. As you sit back, you'll see what you need. There, that is super, super pretty. Um, I also have glitter watercolor. Um, it's like metallic watercolor. You can also add some of that on here if you want to. It'd be really, really pretty. All right, and so, the last thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna do like little splatter marks in the background. So take any color you want. I think I'm just gonna do my opera rose since I've already got a nice puddle of it going on here. Get a good puddle going with a nice big brush. Soak up a lot of that pigment and just kind of dab it off on your page, just like this. And you could do as much or as little as you like. And it just adds a little extra dimension to your painting. Thanks so much for watching the video. I hope you liked it and learned a little something. And if you did like it, please give me a thumbs up. And you can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. And please don't forget to subscribe if you want more videos like this one. Have a great day. Bye.